Let's take a quick look at some highlights of the new features in this release. You can now use projects to organize and manage layouts from different drawing files in the new Project Manager palette. You can double-click layouts in a project to open them for editing or easily publish all layouts in the project. We've added the ability to attach a PDF file to a drawing as an underlay. Here I'm inserting a site plan I want to use. First, I'll use the clipping tool on the new PDF underlay visor to remove the portion of the plan I don't need. And now I can snap to objects in the underlay to create my new drawing. Speaking of visors, we've updated the hatch visor to let you edit the properties of multiple hatch objects at once. You can easily set the same hatch pattern, angle, scale, and so on for all the selected hatch objects. There are also additional features for creating arrays. For example, for path arrays, there's a new measure option that automatically adds additional objects to fill the array when you lengthen the path. We've added commands to thaw all frozen layers or quickly turn on all layers in a drawing. As part of our annotation enhancements, We've added a Leaders option to the Text to Front tool, and you can now apply strike through formatting for multi line text. We've also enhanced our features for working with 3D objects. For example, when you're working with the Press Pull tool, hold the Control key while you select a planar face to create an offset instead of an extrusion. And you can select multiple objects at once to extrude to surfaces or solids. The new Surf Extract Curve tool allows you to extract isoline curves from surfaces or faces of solids. Here I'm using the command to extract curves from this surface. These are just a few of the new features in this release. Browse the welcome screen and autodesk.com for more information.